Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today we are back in 1995 playing as the Ottawa Senators and quick look on the standings on the right my personal goal of battling for a playoff spot is kind of in jeopardy here um, eight points back uh, that's gonna be tough we're gonna need to go on a extended winning streak if we want to compete for a playoff st uh, spot. I did add some D and everything and I thought that we would be doing better. Uh, we're not. Uh, although I did take a quick peek at something that might be of interest here and it is that we are doing better as far as allowing shots. We are the ninth worst team in the league out of 26. Uh, that's better than first or second as we've seen in the past. Uh, although, uh, through be said, we're one of the teams that played the least amount of games. So, that could change rapidly once, you know, once we play the four games we have on hand on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Maybe that, you know, hopefully not. Uh, also, prior to starting the video, I took a quick look at players that are on the trading block. I'm always kind of looking to see if I can <clears throat> find some talent to add to the team. Sadly, the there were two players that were two stars or above, but they're old. I'm not going to try to add them. That was Craig McTavish and Neil Broughton. They're 36 and 35 years old. Uh, respectively. Uh, I've put a veteran of my own on the training block also prior to shooting the video, which is Igor Larionov. He is not doing all that great and he's declined to a one and a half star. So let's see if somebody wants uh, a veteran centerman. Alright, so well, let's get uh, going. We're gonna play the first game in March um, against Tampa Bay. They have a pretty good record, 10-7-2. Uh, definitely kind of following what happened in real life. Tampa kind of got better a little bit faster than the Suns and a lot of it has to do with how they did their initial draft. All right. All right, Rod Bryden is satisfied with my work, so who knows, he looks like uh, he might be a little uh, bipolar. It really changes from month to month. We went 4-6-2 uh, last month, so not too bad, I guess. Um, yeah. Oh, Capitals star wrecks one of a kind car. Olaf Kozig. Oh, Kozig is out for a little bit now. So we've read we've read that story before. Like super crazy expensive car gets crashed by the player, and the player is day to day for a little bit. So, all right, let's see if we can beat Tampa Bay. We lost in overtime the first time we faced them. Um. All right, lines look okay. For the most part, I like how this coach puts the lines together better than Rick Bonus did. Um, <clears throat> is it perfect? I don't think it's perfect. I really don't want to be playing as the coach. Uh, that's gonna add a lot of time to to those videos if I were to do that. Okay, so Ronick Stall in net, wearing the right jersey. Thank you, Ron, for showing your support for your new team, who prevented you from going to the AHL, by the way. And we won in overtime, so both games against Tampa went to overtime. This time we won, so both times the home team won. We won 3-2. Uh, so pretty good little tight game here. And, okay, we outshot them 39-25, to so pr pretty good here. Berquist was the first star with two assists. Sean Chambers for Tampa Bay scored both goals for them. And Kevin Todd, uh, which is uh, close to three quarters of a million salary. I, I know I mentioned his salary a lot, but he's been declining ever since I signed him. He got a goal and the third star. So Sean Podin finally found the back of the net. Scored his first of the season from Berquist and Baker. Then Yashin on the power play from Alexander Daigle. 
And then in overtime, Kevin Todd on the power play from Jonas Berkowitz. <clears throat> All right. Buffalo's Ledyard not suspended. So Grant Ledyard is not suspended. All right. So George Kingston is the monthly upset coach over the media coverage of his team. Oh, San Jose is struggling. Four and 16. Oh, boy. Probably is not helping them that we're going with the real transactions. So, <clears throat> Tampa, uh, not Tampa Bay, San Jose didn't draft all that well at the start of their franchise, and it kind of hurt them for a while. All right. And Glenn Anderson has 500 goals in his career. Pretty good career for Glenn Anderson. Of course, in real life, he had a good career as well. All right, all right. So, looks like I have a Burquist that's hurt here. I just saw that. Yeah, he can't play hurt, apparently. Serious facial cut. Man, those razors in the 90s, I'm telling you. Do I want to... I want to call back somebody. I don't think so. I have, I have some forwards that can play. Oh, oh boy, that's a lot of people on waivers. We're going to take a look at that here in just a second. Uh, Randy Burridge got suspended uh, for three games. So Burridge now, of course, playing for Anaheim. And we got a trade offer from the Philadelphia Flyers. They are offering me Colin Forbes for Jimmy, Jimmy Carson. Is perceived as having value still. Of course, Colin Forbes was never a great player or anything like that. I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna have Jimmy Carson playing for me anymore. Uh, he definitely got passed on uh, center death. So who knows? Maybe Colin Forbes is gonna get you know a good boost or something, and he can become something. I'm really not losing anything by. So I'm going to say yes. I'm getting a 19-year-old. Never know if he's going to develop. Jimmy Carson is 26. He's as much as I wanted for him to resuscitate his career with me. That just didn't happen. So moving on from Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. All right. So Jim VC is going through waivers. Stephen Leach. Dean Kennedy. Yaroslav Otevrel. Denim Merzen. Playing for the Nordiques now. He was a decent defenseman. He's declining to Robert Dirk, <clears throat> Frank Pietrangelo, and Jeffries. So maybe if I wasn't, uh, I have the maximum amount of contracts. Maybe if that wasn't the case, I, I think maybe I would have taken a flyer on Dana Merzen. Um, I just don't have the room right now. All right. Let's see, big game for Luke Robitaille. He had three goals and an assist. Participated to all the goals of his team. So pretty good. Oh, Team Usilani is day to day, so he's hurt. Alright, and Ellie reinstating the Team Kangaroo Court. Charlie Huddy is gonna catch a youngster here in just a few. All right, and we're playing at home against the Islanders. And then tomorrow we're playing in New York against the Rangers. All right, so the Islanders are probably gonna be kind of tough to beat. And they are a pretty good team. They are 11, six and three for 25 points. They have Tommy Salo in that. And we lost the first game against them 4-3. Norm McIver is having a little bit of a slow season so far. Hopefully he gets back in track. We need him to produce. And we lost 5-2. <clears throat> I 
Oh, and we outshot them 32 to 27. So again, we got more shots, but this time I guess goaltending didn't save us. Uh, Pierre Turgeon was the first star of the game, a goal and three assists, pretty good game. Benoit Hug, a goal and an assist, second star, and Yui Krupp with a goal. So let's see who scored for us. Jamie Baker from Jody L and Sean Podin, and Bradshaw from Jody L and Sean Podin. Raimo Helmanen lights the lamp with three goals and an assist for the Blackhawks. So pretty good uh, game for Raimo. Good night for Petra Bandra. Hat trick, three goals. Alright, and now we are playing at the New York Rangers. They are not doing well. They are 9 and 14. And we've lost the first two games against them this year. So they're not doing good, and we have problems beating them. So let's win on the road here. Right, Larianov is going to be playing. So we're going with Gieba, of course, uh, two games in two nights, so that makes sense. Extal played yesterday at home, we're going with the backup on the road. Pretty sound strategy, that's what we see quite a lot of times. Alright, Yashin didn't get points, he needs points now. We lost 7-4, to four. That's uh, I don't like that. We were outshot 45 to 23. So once when those numbers happens once in a while, that's totally fine. Uh, because there are games that you're going to allow that amount of shots. I think in real life right now that were November 29th, a few days ago, I think uh, Pittsburgh got over 50 shots against Detroit or something. So, I mean, and those games happen from time to time. It's just not, you know, three games out of four. That's That's not how that works. All right, so Doug Waite, first star, four assists. Adam Graves, second star, a goal and two assists. And Kovalev, two goals and an assist for the third star. So we did score four goals, so there's a little bit to look at here. So Degg scored from Jimmy Baker and Norm McIver. So McIver is starting to get points a little bit. Zalepski from Archibald and Jimmy Baker. And Jimmy Baker is also starting to get some points. Degg on the power play from Archibald and McIver and Sean Hill from Ansi Tormainen and it was short-handed alright so Doug Waite set everything up tonight yep we just look at that four assists good for him just wish it wasn't against us and Florida is our next opponent and they are 417 and 1 so they're a lot worse than us Ooh, Gretzky not suspended, so maybe his superstar status played a, a role here. Uh, Jeff Courtnall scored 300 goals in his career, playing for Vancouver. Alright, so we're playing on the road in Florida, so I guess back then... <clears throat> the scheduling was a little different because we're not playing in Tampa as well. Nowadays that wouldn't fly, you know, because of the cost of traveling and everything. But apparently back in 1995, uh, they didn't care as much. Alright. So who got uh, busted? Rob Blake did. Woo. Yeah, Rob Blake is 25. He's not that young. But he stepped on the logo. Wow. Larionov is all kinds of upset. He's he feels isolated. He he wish he was a captain or an assistant captain and he doesn't like his eyes time. Well, guess what? If you were to produce a little bit, maybe that would help. You have one point in nine game. 
not why I signed you for. All right, we are playing in Florida. All right, so Florida, Florida doesn't have a great team, but they do have a pretty good goaltender tandem with Van Beesbroek and Stefan Fize. And of course, Ranex all wearing his Red Wings jersey just to just to spite me. And we won 3-2. So good little game for the Sens here. 3-2 win. Uh, we outshot them 29-25. Really good looking numbers there. I like it. Uh, Daniel Alfredson was the first star with a goal and an assist. Greg Gilbert, second star and assist. And Norm McIver with a goal was the third star. All right, so Dave Archibald from Alfredson, McIver from Yeshin and Lonely Loach. Then Alfredson on the power play from Zardy Zalapski. Oh, Paul Cavallini got hurt. Okay, we have to take a look at that. And Brad Shaw as well. Otto Shaw might be able to play day to day with a bruised finger. We're not going to be too worried about that. Paul Cavallini day to day, but he's not available. So I'm going to, even though he's only day to day, I'm going to put him on the injury list. I can't have two defensemen hurt at the same time. And that's not that, that big of a deal. We're going to recall somebody. All right, so Hammer. 23 points in 48 games. That's pretty good. Brian McCabe, 15 points in 49 games. Brian Marchment, 3 points in 14 games. Brad Metter. I still have Brad Metter. Okay. Probably his last year of contract. 18 points, Ness Cash, 4 points in 16 games, Todd Reardon, 13 points, Darren Rumble, 12 points in 17 games, and Patrick Traverse, 5 points in 17 games. I'm going to recall Darren Rumble. He's having a pretty good season down there so far. Next game is going to be in Washington. Coach Nielsen leaves New York in Riff, so Roger Nielsen is not the coach of the Rangers anymore. And Terry Crisp becomes the coach for the Rangers. Red light stays on for Mike Madano with three goals and an assist for four points. All right. Rumble is able to get his number that he wants, number five. So nobody has to get upset. <clears throat> Alright, so Randy Burridge is back from his suspension. Now we're playing in Washington, so Burquist and Shaw might be sitting. We'll see. Yep. They sure both are. Alright, so we won against Washington 5-1 to one earlier in the season. Oh, they're sending Jim Carey and the, the goaltender that Washington got that was like really good for like two or three years in real life, I think. And then he got traded to Boston and then he flamed out. Alright. Not to be confused with Jim Carrey, the, the actor, of course. And we lost 3 to 2. Alright, so we outshot them 40 to 35, so we're outshotting the opponent most of the time now. Alaya Freddy was the first star with two assists. Deg, oh, good game, two assists. He participated to both goals. So two assists for Deg and Sylvain Cote, third star with a goal. Uh, let's see. Jody Al from Deg and Yeshin and Lonely Lodge from Deg and Zalapski. Those were our two goals. Oh, and Mikhail Pivanka got suspended playing against us for two games. I don't know what you did, Pivanka, but it wasn't cool, man.
All right, Jeff Cortnall has a good game. Three goals and an assist for Cortnall. Uh, Berquist should be coming back soon. Oh, Theo Fleury signed an extension with Calgary. Five-year contract extension. That's going to pay him a total 7.8 million. Not 7.8 million a year, but total. So that's going to be like, what, 1.6? 1.7 something Gary Roberts is the monthly art movement so it's gonna be up uh, gonna be out for two weeks for helping a friend move and there's been a trade between the Dallas Stars and the Quebec Nordiques so, oh, the Stars found uh, somebody to take Neil Broughton. So, Neil Broughton and David Strutch are going to the Nordiques for Mikhail Tatarinov and Richard Shulmistra. So, okay. Not a, not a trade that's going to go down as the biggest one in history. Tatarinov was an okay defenseman, I guess. He had a decent shot. Never really was quite the power play guy that he was supposed to become and of course I talked a little bit about Neil Broughton earlier he had a good career and everything but at this point in my game he's 35 years old alright alright next game is in a couple days against the New Jersey Devils and we haven't played them this year so we're gonna try and look at them uh, Adam Bennett was suspended in Dallas. Uh, he will miss two games. Scott Stevens is suspended. Oh, cool. I don't get to play against Scott Stevens. Uh, he's going to miss the next game, so that's probably against us. Alright. And Berquist is ready to play. All right, Mikhail Pivanka is back from suspension, and we are getting ready to face the Devils. In New Jersey, the Devils are 15-7-2, so they are doing pretty good. So Scott Stevens is suspended, as we just uh, saw, so they have Marty Brother in net, of course, so he's going to be good for a very long time. Wade Flaherty is the backup. Who else do they have? They don't have anybody that that's like oh he's not you know he wasn't on the Devils or anything like that. They have a decent team. Devils are gonna be good for a few years unless they screw themselves over with weird trades. All right, and Ronick Stall with his Red Wings jersey again. Why do you hate me so? <sighs> and we lost one nothing. Wow. Yashin has been really quiet this month so far. He was in the league lead among the league leaders for points, but he's really not putting any points up this this month so far. So Claude Lemieux scored the only goal on the power play, and that was it. We were outshot 38-32. Marty Brother was the first star, 32 saves for the shutout. Ronick Stahl second star, 37 saves, and Zalapski had a star as well, despite not getting any points and Scott Stevens is back from suspension all right Paul Cavallini ready for contact okay Bradshaw also and the trade deadline is on the 20th All right, we are playing our next game against Philly. They are struggling as well. Strong game for John Leclerc, not with Philly, with Montreal. In my universe, Montreal never traded him. So he has four goals and an assist for five points. Pretty good. Right, Paul Kalini, Bradshaw... 
Both are doing pretty good. Uh, we are playing Philly. Philly sending Dominic Roussel in net. We have Ron Extall. And we won. We won 4-1 to one against Philly. So Philly's still struggling. Uh, we were outshot 42-31 in that one, uh, but we still managed to win. Jamie Baker was the first star with a goal and an assist. Ron Extall was the second star with 41 saves, playing against his former team. And Berquist, third star with a goal. So Berquist came back and he scored. So let's see, Yeshin scored on the power play from Degg, Baker from McCaver and Zvella. Berquist from Rumble and Jamie Baker. And Kevin Todd in an empty net from Jody L and Sean Podine. Ooh, and after the loss against us, there's talks that Philly might get rid of their coach. Alright, in a couple of days we're playing at home against Buffalo. Adam Bennett is back from suspension. Uh, Dale Hunter is suspended for the next six games. So that shouldn't surprise absolutely nobody that Dale Hunter is suspended. Mike Stapleton in Pittsburgh is also suspended. He's going to miss two games. And we have a trade proposal from the Boston Bruins. Let's see who they are offering us. They are offering us John Rolhoff for Igor Larionov. What's your contract looking like? Okay, you're signed until the end of this season, so I don't have to keep you. I don't really have room for you to. I am going to reject and see if I can get better. I'm going to shop Larionov around here in a couple days and we'll see if I can get better. Alright, a good night for Theo Fleury that celebrates his new contract shortly with a hat trick three goals. Sergei Fyodorov is suspended for five games. There was no stopping Pavel Bure, who got a hat trick three goals. Alright, so I have Cavallini that's ready to come back. Yeah, he has to spend four more days on the injured reserve. That's fine. Alright, so we are playing at home against Buffalo. And we won the first game of the season against them, seven to two. I believe that was the first game, uh, the first win of this the season for us. So we're facing Dominic Ashek. He's red hot. That's gonna be tough. Buffalo is 11, 10, and three. So not doing as good as you would think they they would. And we lost five to one. We were out shot 36 to 24. McGillney had a goal and two assists for the first star. Lafontaine, a goal and an assist, second star. And uh, James Black, with two goals, was the third star. And for us, Berkwist scored from McIver and Bradshaw. So again, Yeshin kind of quiet. Alright, so Kirk Mutter has 500 assists in his career. Alexi Kovalev lights the lamp with four goals, so a four goal game for Kovalev. Interesting, so apparently the Panthers claimed Dana Merzen and then they shipped him to Dallas so that, uh, in a trade. So Kip Metter goes to Florida with Richard Shulmistra, who Dallas just got from Quebec City. In return for Dana Merzen and Rhett Warner. Huh. 
Interesting trade. So that does get help on D. Red Warner might become okay to play in the NHL. Kip Miller is an okay winger, and Shulmistra, I don't think. I don't think he's gonna become much of anything. Very interesting trade. All right, we are playing Pittsburgh. Oh, Pittsburgh not dominating. I mean, they have a good record. They're 16, 11, and 1, but they are not dominating as much as they did in the prior season. All right, so playing at home against Super Mario and P the Pittsburgh Penguins. Of course, I mean... Lemieux has exactly a two-point per game pace. So, it's pretty good. <laughs> and we lost 7-2. to two. So, kind of a massacre there. We got outshot 50-25. to 25. If I'm not mistaken, the first game of the season, they had 66 shots on goal or something like that. So, they generated 116 shots on goals against us in two games. And we had 25 shots. So Jagger, first star with two goals and three assists. Lemieux, second star, a goal and three assists. And Joe Mullen, a goal and two assists, third star. Darren Rumble scored for us. This is it by Bradshaw and Jamie Baker from Berquist and Tommy Shodin. Oh boy. Okay, we have three different... Uh, trade proposals there so today is the last day of uh, the trade deadline so we'll take a look at all of those trade proposals and see if we actually trade somebody so Brian Rolston extends his SS streak to eight games pretty good all right Chicago is offering me Sean Pronger I prefer Chris but you know, for Ansi Tormanen, I don't think I'm going to make that trade. Here. Anaheim is offering me Sylvain Cloutier for Mark Freer. Alright, Sylvain Cloutier is 21. He has a one-star potential. Mark Freer is not... Uh, I'm going to check here. Okay, that's not for... I'm going to complete that trade. Mark Freer is not going to play for us anymore. And who knows, maybe Klutzi is going to reach his potential and maybe he's going to be able to play on the fourth line one day or something like that. So let's, let's make that one trade. And then Florida Panthers are offering me Steve Washburn for Todd Ewan. I don't think so. Well, usually I like to get younger got Todd you want to be kind of a tough guy and he's not really doing anything you know what let's get younger probably not gonna turn into anything but uh, why not All right, so we traded Mark Freer to Anaheim for Sylvain Cloutier and we traded Todd Yuan to Florida for Steve Washburn Again, I don't expect those uh, trades to come up to mo mo much of anything, but we never know. Who knows? All right, so now that I traded Todd Ewan, I need to kind of call back a guy up. So let's take a look at who we might want to get up. Oh, that's right, I got Conan Forbes. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with uh, Pankowicz again. So he's not uh, he's not great or anything, but he's putting up good stats in the minors. So I want to kind of reward him. 
Right, and Anaheim's trying to pass Mark Freer through waivers that they just acquired from us. Alright, so today's the last day to attempt a trade. So I have three attempts at trading somebody. Alright, I, I I am going to try to trade Larganov. Let's see who I can get for him. Right, Toronto's offering me Ilya Biekin. I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to get anything great, but uh, Patrick Sundstrom, yeah, getting a little old. Kings are offering me Bob J. I don't think so. Flyers, Mike Ramsey, the old veteran. Yeah, if it was 10 years ago, I would. Of course, I've jumped on that, but Islanders, Warren Looning. Never heard of that guy, so we're gonna say no. Devils, oh, they are offering me the old veteran Vyacheslav Fitzov. Yeah, if I was going for the for the Stanley Cup Finals, probably, but. Trying to get a little younger here. Artford is offering me Jason McBain. Maybe. San Jose is offering me Brian Swanson. Maybe. <laughs> Tampa Bay is offering me Alan Edglund. I don't think so. And I'm offering me Scott McKay, no. And Florida's offering me David Nemirovsky, no. All right, do I want Jason McBain or do I want Brian Swanson? Alright, we're gonna try with. Uh, let's see if I can get more from them. I don't do that often because I don't have draft picks, so it's hard. It's really hard to. to get something because you absolutely have to go with a player. Can I add Vakla Varada? Or maybe try to get Varada instead. Alright. We'll see what... Uh, I changed the trade. I don't think it went true. Or maybe it did. No, I don't think so. Alright, Theo Fleury has a strong game. Four assists. So we're stuck with Larionov after all. And I could have tried to trade somebody else. There was really nobody else that I wanted to kind of move. Larionov was really the guy. And I kind of messed it up, apparently. But I didn't really care for the players that were offered to me. I could have taken Varada. Alright, so Fleury for assists. Alright, and the Rangers and Panthers uh, made a trade. So Todd Ellick and Richard Schul... Oh god, Richard Schulmistra got traded three times in like a week. And Florida gets... Oh, James Patrick is going to the Panthers. Interesting. And Daniel Gano, of course, Patrick is 31 years old, so he's declining a little bit. But still, and the Rangers get Todd Ellick. Huh. We went through that before, Greg. You're getting number 43 and you're gonna be okay with that. Thank you. All right, we are playing in Washington.
done Bopri in net, Ranek style for us. And it's a tie, 2-2 two -two tie. We'll take it. We were outshot 35 to 25. Uh, Magnus Venson with an assist was a first star. Lonely Loach for a second star with a goal and an assist. And Pat Elenak, a goal for the third star. So Lonely Loach scored for us from Zalepski and Yeshin. And Yeshin from Zvela and Lonely Loach. Jamie Baker is injured and he was one of our good players this year so far. Alright. What says you? One to two weeks with a sore elbow, so I have to send you to the injury list and get another center to come up. And we don't have Jimmy Carson anymore, so it cannot be him. Similaro, 31 points in 55 games. 9 points in 21 games for Radic Bank. Swart Vadit, 18 and 35. 25, 20, 25. Yeah, let's call up Similaro. He's having a decent season. Again, I I like sometimes to reward my players who get points in the minors. Alright, so we're playing our next game in a few. Uh Stapleton, Mike Stapleton is back from suspension. Ray Borg is day to day with an injury. Dear God, everybody wants number 33. Well, you're taking 53. How about that? Oh, you're a bit upset. Huh? I can always send you back down if you're not happy. Entitled prick. Alright. Oh, okay. So we have... Uh, we can bring Paul Cavallini back up. You know what? Darren Rumble hasn't been playing too bad since he was called up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna send down Sean Hill. There you go. Go play the minors a little bit. You can do better. Alright, Vyacheslav Kozlov extends his goal streak to five. He had a goal. Strong game for Mark Messier. He had three assists. Uh, three goals, sorry. Hat trick. Brian Rosen's assist streak ended at eight games, so he was held scoreless against the Rangers. Strong night for Matt Sundin. Three goals. Hat trick for him. Mark Messi extends his goal streak to five games with a two-goal performance against the Islanders. What else? Uh, I guess I want to make sure I didn't lose Sean Hill to... No, he's still with me. He's in the AHL. Alright, Scott Stevens, 500 assists in his career. Pretty good for him. And Dimitri Mironov got suspended for two games. Alright, next game uh, we're playing against Montreal. We won our first game of the season against them. Won 6-1 uh, actually. So Montreal 16-12-1. They're pretty good. And it's a 3-3 tie. We'll take it. So on the road especially. So I played in the Forum, the Montreal Forum, and uh, managed to tie it 3-3. We'll take that. 
Uh, we were outshot 43 to 36, and Mike Sellinger of Montreal was the first star with two assists. Lonnie Loach for us was the second star, a golden and assist, and Don Fuss, a golden and assist as well, was the third star. So Kevin Todd scored for us with uh, assists from Jody Allen and Bradshaw. Yeshin scored from Zalewski and Lonnie Loach, and Lonnie Loach on the power play from Norm McIver and Zardy Zalewski. Oh, Peter Forsberg is out for three weeks, so that's going to hurt the Nordiques. How good are they this year? 17 and 10. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. Uh, definitely, that's going to hurt them. Messi extends his goal streak to six games against the same, those same Nordiques. And our next game is today against the Nordiques. So we lost the first game of the season against them, 5-2. to two. And we won this one, 3-1. to one. So nice little win at home. Gieba was in net. A little win. Uh, shots were tied 29 apiece. Pretty good numbers there. Uh, Zardy Zalapski was the first star with a goal and two assists. Uh, Ray Shepard playing for the Nordiques had a goal for the second star. And Eba 28 saves for the third star. So Bergquist scored on the power play from Yashin and Zalapski. Zvela scored on the power play from Deg and Zalapski. And Zalapski scored from Daniel Alfredson. All right, memorable game for Jeremy Ronick, who had four assists. Pretty good game for Ronick. Memorable night for Yarmir Jager, who had six assists. So he looked at Ronick and said, oh yeah, I can do better than you. So six assists. Of course, Pittsburgh trouncing Florida 9-0 in that game. Uh, Lemieux had a memorable game as well. Five goals and two assists. Strong game for Zdeno Siga, three goals and an assist for the Devils. A night to remember for Luke Robitaille, three goals and three assists. Yes, that's pretty good. Um, Alright, so the month is nearing its end. We have two more games, one at home against the Devils and one on the road against the Sabres. So hopefully we can get a couple wins. Uh, doesn't look like uh, we're going to be in the playoff hunt. We're nine points out right now. So I don't think that's going to happen. So that's disappointing. All right. So Gart Butcher is suspended for two games. No one could stop Adam Creighton, who had a hat-trick three goals against Montreal. Dimitri Miranov is back from suspension. Alright, Tomasz Olmström is not suspended. All right, we are playing the Devils at home. We lost the first game one nothing. New Jersey is twenty nine and two. They are really good. They are at top of the conference. They're even better than Pittsburgh. So, best team in the East. And we lost forty three. So, both games we played against them. Best team in the in the East. Uh, were pretty tight games, but sadly, not good enough to win. All right, we were outshot 48-28. Um, Randy Mackey was the first star. He had two goals. Alexander Degg for us was the second star, a goal and an assist. And Tommy Albeline with an assist, third star. So Degg from Loach and Yashin. And then Alfredson from Shaw and Tormanen. And Zvela shorthanded from Degg and Zalapski. Wow. Alexander Degg was actually killing a penalty. That's interesting. 
Uh, yeah, well, we shouldn't have labels on players like that. This year in real life, the Sens have been using Duclair on the penalty kill, and I think he's been doing pretty good. And, you know, you would never have thought that from all of the other places he's played before. Nobody trusted him defensively or anything. So... All right, Daylanter is back from suspension so that he can go and get suspended again. Wait, I just said something about not labeling players. Wayne Gretzky has earned 1,750 assists in his career. That's a lot. <laughs> All right, and last game of the month uh, in Buffalo. And we're sending Giba. We're going to face Dominic Asik. Um, we're 1-1 one one against Buffalo this year. And we won 6-5 in overtime. Pretty good game. Oof, that was an offensive game. Shots were 48-46 for us. Um, Yeshin had three assists. Pat Lafontaine had a goal and three assists. Second star, and Norm McIver, two goals, was the third star. So Deg from Bradshaw, McIver on the power play from Loach and Yeshin. Loach on the power play from Yeshin and Bergquist. Ed Ronan scored his first goal of the season from Darren Rumble. McIver from Archibald and Kevin Todd. And in overtime, Lonnie Loach plays the hero with his 15th of the season. That's pretty good. From Yeshin and Tommy Shodin. All right, Fedorov is back from suspension. Uh, Timu Salani scored in five straight games. Joey Juno had a great game. He had four assists for the Bruins. Red light stays on for Joe Sakic. Sakic hat trick, three goals. All right. All right. Gart Butcher is back from suspension. So those are our players that are getting better and worse for the month. Alright, so some of the players that I got are getting better. Like Washburn got points and nice things like speed, face offs, and getting open. I guess professionalism is good too, but. Alright. Cool. Alright, so. Pat Lafontaine and Andy Moog again are the stars of the month. All right, so after yeah, after two months and and some change, we are thirteenth. We are not going to be battling for a playoff spot after all. We are nine points out of a playoff spot. Uh, right now it's held by Buffalo, um, so I don't see us winning enough games in April to clinch a playoff spot or you know be real close or anything like that and make it interesting. So sadly, that's probably not gonna be happening. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our stats for the team. So. So Yeshin did slow down. For, he's still more than a point per game, but he did slow down 40 points in 31 games. Lonely Loach is a point per game as well, so that was a good uh, good idea to resign him. 15 goals, 15 assists, 30 points in 30 games. Zalewski is having a pretty good season as well. 23 points in 31 games. McIver is doing okay, but we were used to a, a more impressive pace from him. So 18 in 30 games, that's still all right. Uh, Deg has 16 points in, in 29 games. Again, that's not terrible, uh, but he's just not improving. Uh, Bradshaw's doing pretty good. He did miss some time. 14 points in 24 games. That's pretty decent. After that, we're starting to uh, dwindle down. So, yeah.
that's pretty much what it looks like uh, for us here. Now we're gonna look at leads the league. So Mario Lemieux leads the league in goals with 33. And then Bury is second with 30 and Gretzky has 26 in third place. Uh, Lemieux also has the most assists, 38. So obviously he's the best scorer of the league. 71 points for Mario Lemieux. Uh, Wayne Gretzky is second and he has 62. So he's nine points behind. Yashin is still there. He's number 10 with 40 points with a whole bunch of other players. So if he has a good month of April, who knows? Maybe he can end up in the top five or something. Um, other than that, let's see. Yep. Yeah, Lonely Loach has eight power play goals. He's 12th. Um... I mean, Lemieux has 19. He's first in there. So, doing pretty good. Let's look at our attendance. Oh boy. We are not doing very good with attendance. Now, of course... Yeah. We haven't had any sellouts at home. We're lacking like big name recognition, I guess. That's why we're not averaging a whole lot. We're averaging like 2,000 less than the second worst team, which is Hartford. That's a little concerning. All right, so now that we've caught up, uh, you know, with other teams in uh, in games played, we are the fourth worst te team in shots allowed per game. Uh, so, other teams ahead of us are all expansion teams. So, nothing too surprising there, I guess. All right, so I guess that uh, kind of covers it uh, for March of uh, 1995. We're going to go ahead and save this. And, of course, next time we're going to do April. Since April is pretty long uh, in that half season, I think I'm just going to do April next time. Uh, that's going to be a little bit of a shorter video. And then after that, I'm going to do the playoffs and the preseason, probably, uh, of the following season. So the off season and then maybe the preseason we'll see so at least for now i'm gonna call it a video so as usual thank you for tuning in and if you've liked the video feel free to like and subscribe that's always appreciated and until i roll this game again see you guys next time thank you